Hey what is up guys, my name is Kev5 and welcome to a new tutorial on a new plugin. Today we're going to be covering the plugin shop, an advanced shop plugin that allows you to set up GUI menus, NPC menus, shop signs, and more. So without further ado, let's get started. So obviously the first thing you're going to do before anything else is install this plugin to your server. Now I'm not going to show how to do that, however you would simply download this plugin to your server and install it through the FTP into your plugins folder. Make sure your server is running Spigot or Bucket. If you're running a modded server it will require either Sponge or Cauldron or Thermos depending on what mod pack you use and what version you use. Uh, we're not going to get into that because that's a little bit complicated. So now that the shop plugin is installed on your server we need to create a shop. So let's go ahead and do that first. We're going to need to create a shop in order to set it up with an NPC. So you do that by typing slash shop, page, create, and then the shop's name. In this case, we're going to call it YouTube. Now that the shop's been created, we're going to go ahead and edit that shop. Now we're going to edit the shop with slash shop, page, edit. The reason this command does that is the last shop that I touched or created was YouTube. That means this command automatically opens up the last shop you're managing, in this case YouTube. So now to add an item, we're going to have to right click, do not left click, right click, and this is how you move the item into the shop. Select where you want it to go. We're going to go ahead and put it right here. We're going to do the same thing for our diamond ore and the same thing for our emerald ore. Now to edit the items to actually include a buy and sell price, you wanna click on the item, left click, and then we're going to go ahead and choose change function. We're going to go ahead and set it up to be able to buy this item. We're going to change the cost, how much this items costs. We're going to click that and then it asks us to type the cost in chat. Let's go ahead and make this 150. Now it'll automatically set that cost of 150. We're going to set up a sell price for this as well. So I'm going to go ahead and make the sell price 50. Now that the item has a cost, we can go ahead and back out of that item. When we hover over it, we will see that it has a cost of 150 and it is a buy function. If we wanna move the item, all we have to do is right click it and then click where we want the item to be moved to. It'll still retain all of the cost values and functions that you set up with this. So now we're going to go ahead and set up the diamond ore. And instead we're going to go ahead and set it up as a sell item. We're going to go ahead and change the sell price and we're going to put 100. Let's go with 100. So now the item will be sellable for only 100. Now we're going to go ahead and back out of this menu and we're going to show you how to set up the shop to be the main shop on your server. This means when you type slash shop, your shop, this shop you're creating now, will appear as the main shop. What you'll need to do is go into your FTP and you're going to want to look for the shop folder which will be within your plugins folder. You'll want to edit the config.yml and where you see main page, that is where you're going to need to put your shop you created, the name. In this case, it's going to be YouTube. Now we need to go onto the server and type slash shop reload. This will reload it. Now when we type slash shop, it will open up the YouTube shop with everything you can see here. As you can see, I am a very poor man, which means I cannot buy any of these. We're going to go ahead and give myself some money here. Now the awesome thing about buy shops is that you can actually buy and sell from them. If we click on this we can choose left click to add one or right click to minus one. You can also do it in 8, 16s, 32, 64s and a whopping 128. So we're going to go ahead and add 128. Obviously we can't afford this so let's right click and cancel that. We're going to go ahead and add five to our purchase today. Five for 750. And we're going to go ahead and click this iron ore to buy it. Now that is how you would buy 500. You will need to right click. Now I'm going to go ahead and show the other items as well. Now we're going to go ahead and show you how to sell the diamond ore. If we click on it, we can confirm and increase the amount. You'll only be able to click on it if you have that item. So I have diamond ore right here. I'm going to go ahead and sell all 64 of it and we will get 6400 from it. We're going to need to right click for it to sell. 
So we've confirmed it, we will need to, and now we have money from that. Now that you have a general idea of how this plugin works, we're going to go ahead and go into the NPC section and we're going to quickly explain the permissions. You will need two permissions in order for this plugin to function properly if you're a player. The two permissions you will need to give your players are you will need to give your player shop.page and then the page that you want to give them. In this case, we created YouTube in this tutorial. They would need this permission and then they would need the permission shop.use. They will need that permission in order to use slash shop with the YouTube page. We're going to go ahead and give myself that permission now. Menu add piece. Skilled Kevin 25. We're going to go ahead and add shop.page.youtube and shop.use. Both of those permissions have now been added to my player. So if you see, I will deop myself and type slash shop. I am able to open this shop and I am able to use these which is wonderful, of course. You want to be able to buy iron ore anytime you want. Unfortunately, 1.11 does not seem to support Citizens yet. And Citizens is updated to 1.11, but the Shops plugin is not set up with 1.11 yet. It does work properly with 1.11, but it does not seem to offer 1.11 compatibility with Citizens yet. I imagine that will be coming soon, but we're still going to go ahead and explain how to create an NPC shop. That way, if this is updated in the future to 1.11 compatibility, or if this plugin ends up just you want something you want to use on a 1.10 or lower server for the time being, you would create it with this command, shop NPC create, and then the NPC shop name. It can be anything. It does not have to be the page we just created. So. Uh, you would run this command and of course if you're running 1.11 and the shops plugin hasn't been updated to 1.11 yet with compatibility for NPCs, you're going to get that message. So now we need to link the NPC shop with a page. You would do so with the command slash shop NPC page and then the page name. The page name itself would be the shop page we created in this tutorial earlier. In this case, we called the page YouTube, so we are linking the YouTube page to our NPC shop. So we'd go ahead and do it with that command, and then once we've run the command, it would of course link to that NPC shop you've created. Granted that the plugin has hopefully been updated to 1.11 soon. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope this helped you out. Um, that's just a brief tutorial of how to set up the plugin. There's much more in the wiki for this plugin that I recommend you check out, but overall that is just a basic gist of how to do it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button, and as always, have a wonderful day.